What's up, everybody? Do right back at it again with another video. Today, we're going to be talking about Crown Branch because I'm sick and tired of watching these greedy AAA developers ruin great franchises like Rainbow Six and Ghost Recon. I've seen all I can stand and I can't stand no more. So what I'm hoping to do with this video is get you, the viewer, to not invest in those types of franchises anymore and check out this game that's very similar to the OG Rainbow Six and Ghost Recon types of games because, well, it's actually being made by some of the OG developers of those games so it would only make sense that this game is going to be a spiritual successor to those og series so if you were a fan of the og rainbow six and ghost recon series then definitely get ground branch and other games like it because we need to send a message here that you can't screw with our franchises and not receive some sort of consequence money talks fellas so let's send that message so to entice you to invest in games like ground branch i'm going to talk more about it so if you didn't know there was a video that was released a little a while ago i'm not entirely sure who released the video i'm assuming it's the animator he released like uh ragdolls on his private channel or something along those lines i haven't actually had time to fully look at it so this is actually my first time taking a glance at it but i will have a link to the raw video if you just want to watch it without my commentary should be in the description and uh yeah we're just gonna go through and analyze it see what's going on then after that we're gonna talk about a bunch of other things that they released and uh yeah so let's get into it so the name of this recording is called Ground Branch Work in Progress Ragnall Test on 10-9-2021. Wow, I'm pretty late on this. <laughs> uh, oh well, better late than never, huh? So the developers have actually told us to just pay attention to the ragdolls and the gun animations. And not to worry too much about the gunshot audio and the blood because they're apparently placeholders. So uh, yeah, that's just what we're going to focus on for the most part. From first glance at the video, it seems like they're in like some sort of testing map. It's pretty common amongst the developer space. I know Ready or Not had a map like this. Where they just screw around and you know do gameplay and stuff like that uh first thing i want to say is that i actually quite like how he's holding the rifle right here and how you can actually see the compass that they're gonna put in there i just want to check to see if the compass is actually working when they actually you know decide to look at it so let's go ahead and start the video here okay so he's walking pause i actually like the way that he puts down his weapon there that's actually pretty cool. I like that. I believe him putting down the weapon is actually called the low ready stance, I think it's called. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's been a bit since uh, I talked about that type of stuff. Pulls up his weapon and he's in the ready stance. He's about to shoot this guy. I believe he has an M4 on. I could be wrong with the hollow sight EOTech. All right, so let's see how this ragdoll actually works here. Ooh. Wow. Take a look at that again. Bam! Freaking falls down and he goes down like a goddamn rock. Like, that actually looks realistic. Ooh, and, like, he got shot in the shoulder right there. His shoulder went forward. Like, his whole body, like, contorted the way that the bullet went. Same with this guy. Like, he actually got hit in the chest, but he fell forward. He's like, oh! You know, like, convulsed backward before he fell forward. That was kind of cool. I'm loving these animations. It looks so freaking good. Down the shoulder. Oh, oh, can I see that again? Hold on. We're going slow-mo. Bam, bam, left, and then the right. Shot on the shoulder, left. He felt that when the bullet hits him on the left shoulder there, and then the right one gets hit, and he's like, uh, uh, uh. That is so cool. Oh my god, even the freaking recoil looks better now. Look at that. Oh my god, I want to freaking get this update so bad now. My goodness. Like, the ragdolls look so goddamn good, man. You know, I've been with this game, like, a little before it actually launched in early access, and man, it, it just has come such a long way from where it was. Like, if you go back on the channel where the Ground Branch playlist is, you can actually just scroll back and just see how much it's evolved over time. Now, if only they could just make the AI just slightly, you know, more smarter. I hope they work on that next. That reload looks so nice. All right. Yo, 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 yo. Did he just go into the, the high ready stance? I think that's what it's called. Yeah, he did it like right here. 
Yeah, see, high ready stance. That looks cool. Although it does look a little lower than what I remembered. I think in the original game, it actually goes a little higher than that. But because of where his gun is, it actually is off to the side there. So it, it makes sense that the gun would be, you know, facing this direction. But in the way that it is in the current game, it just kind of like goes upwards like this way, I think. But I love the way that he freaking gets it and goes into the aim position like that. It looks so nice. And did my eyes deceive me? Hold on. Does the bullet actually shoot where the gun is going? Hold on, let me put that in slow-mo. Watch the barrel of the gun right here. Cool. Yo, did... Hold on. You see his hands kind of on the right side there? Watch this guy's hands right here. Like, they kind of go up and then they just give out as soon as he dies. Uh, uh. Neat. Pretty neat. Looking to semi-auto. Nice. Like, they kind of, like, reach towards where they're getting hit, sort of. It doesn't happen if they're obviously getting hit in the head because they're dead at that point. Like that guy. Oh my god, this just looks so good. The ragdolls actually look like ragdolls. That was cool. Hold on. The way that he got shot in the leg right there, and he like reaches down to actually, you know, get it. Like, he should honestly still be alive. Unless you hit him in like that main artery. I mean, he's gonna die out eventually because he's bleeding out. Switch to the pistol, and he's shooting at these guys right here because I'm assuming he ran out of ammo. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, so does body armor actually matter here? I like how he actually, like, when you hear the clicking sound, he actually kind of, like, moves the gun as if he's, you know, shooting a little bit. Because, I mean, your gun would flinch a little bit if you're actually pulling the trigger, right? But anyways, he pulls out his pistol here. One thing that I noticed is that he's actually aiming the pistol at the body armor there. So I get, I'm guessing body armor actually does work against, you know, pistols. Because the pistol obviously doesn't have a big of a round as the M4 does, right? Then he shoots him in the leg right there, and that's what actually kills him over. Looks like he shot him in the shoulder that time. In the face. That actually looked like he hit the, the thing there. That body armor just doesn't look like it held up right there. Yo, was that a fast reload? Hold on. That kind of looked like a fast reload to me. Did they say that they were going to do fast reloads? I, didn't, I don't remember. Nice. There he is aiming in right there to like steady his aim. Oh my god, this looks so freaking good. I can't wait to freaking play it. I need it in my life. 1032 can't come fast enough, man. Yeah, so this looks like a regular reload. So there's fast and regular reloads now? Sweet. And that is the video. I'll try to see if I can actually come through this again to see if there's anything that I may have missed. But so far, I'm really liking what I've seen. I can't wait to freaking... I can't wait to freaking play this. Well, I think I found pretty much all I could find with this video. If you want to watch the raw version of it, I will have a link to it in the description. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to a couple of other things here. Which comes straight from their Twitter. Cody has finished the new MK14 EBR, which is currently having its animations hooked up. It is now confirmed for V1032. Oh, cool. Man, V1032 is going to be such a big freaking update. I can already... Oh, I can't wait. You can preview the model on his artisan page. All right, let's take a look at this bad boy. And there it is. Look at this beautiful model. Amazing. Here's the other side of it. We got the top down, the upside down, where you put your mag very very nice very very nice can't wait to see what it sounds like and gets put through the ringer and all that oh that's a nice looking little sight there i hope we're gonna be able to like zoom in just a little bit because i feel like we're not gonna be able to fully look through that correctly i guess but that is a damn oh my goodness ebr chassis stock sage international ltd oscar Coda Minneapolis is that, is that is it Minneapolis 48750 patent 6,839,998 is that how many there is in the US just curious push is that how you unlock the freaking uh is that a suppressor I forget very very good looking weapon this man put a lot of time and effort into this I could already tell use the stock for it 
Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Oh, we even got some bullet casings too. Is it just going to be sitting around the map at some point or something? Interesting. All right, let's move on to the next thing here. How, I never knew how to say his freaking name, is working on some new facial hair to go with the new character heads. Here are some of the renders of the very first iteration. Just always keep in mind that renders do not reflect final in-game visuals. All right, let's take a look at them. These look so good. You're telling me this doesn't reflect the real game? What the frack? Oh, I think this is actually like what I've got right now man that looks so freaking good you got a little scar there can you put scars on your dude or or is this like uh when you kind of get like banged up you look all fucked up or something like when you're in game that's kind of cool all right moving on to the next thing here so over on their discord they had actually pinged us just basically to tell us about scams and all that stuff and to make up for it they were like hey we'll give you like four freaking screenshots of the new stuff and right now they're showing off the brand new waiting room which looks i mean i think it looks better than the other one it definitely you know has like the the atmospheric vibe that that makes sense for a freaking tactical shooter so that's cool then they get another gun here which is the one that they showed off in the previous one but it still looks goddamn good and then we get another look at uh i forget what it's called oil rig yeah oil rig all site here looks very gorgeous very gorgeous look at that freaking compass down there i didn't actually get to see if it worked or not and then we get an overhaul to the new map that's in the waiting room. This actually looks a lot better. Is this a, is this a new game mode? Let's see, primary objectives, locate and retrieve the intel device, exfiltrate to extraction point, intel search areas, building A, building C, mission parameters, display, search locations two, enemy experience, trained, which you can actually put them to very hard. Expected resistance 15, which I believe also goes up to 30, if I remember correctly. I know they wanted to put in like 50 enemies, but I feel like it messes up the map just a bit too much. Like once they fix that, then I think they should definitely go up to 50 because, you know, definitely brings out the hardcore killer in me. Extract as a team, yes. Search time seconds, 10 minutes. Time limit, 60 minutes, okay. Insertion at, I believe this is noon, if I remember correctly. Military time goes from like, zero to 24 so yeah i believe this is noon and you could switch that at any time of the day i wonder if i mean that's a definitely a better looking map than the previous one I might do a side by side comparison here but yeah that's pretty good and uh yeah that's pretty much everything related to ground branch this week uh, i just want to check their twitter once more and yeah they just show out the same thing here so i think that's it for ground branch today you know ground branch is quickly becoming the rainbow six and ghost recon that we all freaking wanted i tell you again if you're someone that doesn't have this game i highly recommend that you hop into it because this next update is going to be freaking massive well that's pretty much all i got to say when it comes to ground branch i really cannot wait for this update so what are your thoughts did you think that those animations were pretty good let me know down below because i would like to know because i'm gonna end it here if you enjoyed the fact that i covered games like ground branch then be sure to like the video share the video and comment down below if you're someone that would like to support the channel check out my patreon or click on the join button that's right underneath the video any donation helps it keeps the channel going trust me if i didn't have money coming in i would have probably quit a long time ago if you're someone that's new to the channel be sure to subscribe and ding that bell so that you can get more content or updates on anything that i post and with that all being said i want to thank everybody for coming out to watch and i guess i'll catch you in the next one Bye bye